Of course, many South Africans know that Madiba was a very keen boxer in his youth, even saying that he was, uh, his biggest regret was that he didn't actually become a heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Well, uh, he certainly was a heavyweight champion in our hearts, and so much so that his lessons are being uh, carried forward through the sport uh, that he loved so much. And this morning we meet Andy Swa Matikane from Box Girls SA, a former professional boxer who's empowering young women one knockout at a time. Sis Andy Swa, mohalo. Ewe putu wa. Unja namu sanji? Pili la konu janwen. Namdi pili, okay. Tell us a bit more about Box Girls SA. Where did the whole idea start and how, how long have you been doing it for? Uh, okay, Box Girls SA started in 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, it started in the gym that I was training in. And I saw that there was a need to assist young women that I was training with because um, at the gym, it's not easy for a woman to train because most of the time you find out that there's um, lots of men inside the gym. Mm -hmm. So then I became sort of like an assistant coach. And then I saw that it was hard for me to access more girls because in winter time, it's not safe for the girls to walk around. So then I decided uh, to take the program to the primary schools. Mm -hmm. So then we started with two primary schools and then it grew to five primary schools. Mm. And then I'm so proud to say that now we have about 17 primary schools and then we're trying to uh, empower more young women mm -hmm. to also come and assist us with the work that we're doing. Beautiful. And so, yeah. those one, two combos are looking very good. <laughs> I've got to say, they're looking very good. Yes, they do. They but do. Uh, you've expanded further than just boxing. You've yes. also found other areas of, uh, of life in which you can assist these young women. Tell me more about that. Yeah. Um, in, when I was training the girls, I saw that there was a need to help them with their homeworks. Okay. And I also saw that uh, there was a challenge with um, self-confidence and self-efficacy and also trying to understand where the points of health were are. So then I tried to develop a curriculum that will benefit the needs of the girls. Wow. So then in Box Girls, we have two curriculums. We have the math and English curriculum, and we also have the leadership curriculum where the girls can um, learn about points of health and also understand who they are so that whenever they grow up, they, are, they grow to be strong women one wow. day. If so, I had yeah. the money right now, I'd build you a school <laughs> right now. Just your own school where that you can... That would be great. That Absolutely. would uh, put an ease to us. So you say you started off in 2009. Yes. Um, what future growth do you see for Box Girls SA? Um, I see that uh, I wish that um, people can come and also uh, volunteer the time to the girls. And also I want them uh, to come and, and donate things because mm -hmm. recently we just found that we actually have an office space where we, we can um, identify people can come and assist us. And then we also need uh, volunteers and tutors yeah. to come to our Saturday hubs to also assist these young women. So, yeah. yeah. Lastly, we are celebrating Madiba Month. What yes. lessons do you teach at Box Girls SA that you, that you think uh, Tata Madiba would look proudly on and say, yes, I support that? <laughs> uh, we are, I always make sure that I teach them Ubuntu and, and also um, sharing because sharing is important. Mm. With the little things that we have, we can also share to other young people and other young kids and other young women so that we can create a strong and safe community. Oh. So that is my mission and vision. I love it so much, sis. <laughs> and this is yeah. Beautiful stuff. We're talking about inspiring South Africa during this month of July, Madiba month. And of course, we know that, yes, Madiba was a keen boxer, packed a lot of power in his punch, but also in his words that continue to inspire us to this day. Right now, here's Leanne with the news.